Hey, hey, how you doing? Good, good, good to hear. So I already had a look at your x-rays on the way in. Doesn't look like there's any problems there, but you know, while you're here, while I'm here, I wanted to take a quick look around myself. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, good, okay, good. So um, there were a couple areas I was worried about. Your 18, 19 area, that's your kind of back molars, your like left molar area. So let's go take a quick quick peek myself, if you don't mind. Can you go ahead and open up for me? Oh, let me real quick get the light too so I can actually see what I'm doing in there, all right? Three, two, one, all right, not too shabby. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick look in there so I can actually see if you've been brushing and flossing like I told you to, all right. All right, okay, your tongue, other side of the mouth, all right? Kind of getting in the way of me, all right? There we go. Looks good. Maybe a little bit of plaque buildup here. Remember, we really gotta be flossing. I'm gonna go ahead and try to shave some of that off for you. Okay. Okay, that was kind of a big chunk, but that should be fine. Let me get my my other scraper. There we go, there we go. And then, okay, remember. There we go. Remember, a little bit of bleeding is very normal in the dentist's office. All right, your mouth has a lot of blood vessels in it, so it's not my fault, all right? But yeah, okay, looking good over there. I don't see any cavities forming, just a little bit of plaque. So remember, we're going to go ahead and want to brush a lot more in that area, especially. Um, remember, you want to brush hard. You want, the gums, they're looking a little inflamed. It looks like you kind of panic brushed before you came in. It's okay, just keep it constant, keep it consistent, all right? I'll go ahead and give you a quick rundown on how I want you brushing, all right? So remember, front, back, in between. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up so I can show you. Don't be shy, come on, open up. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna, same area, right? So this is your back molars, you feel it there? There we go, get your tongue out of there. There we go. All right, so remember, I'm gonna want you to brush the front. Most people get this part fine. Also going to want the back, so I'll arc it. That's what most people miss. Yep, yep. I'm already seeing a little bit of work being done here. And then in the crack, right? So right in between where the teeth are, the little crack you want to get in there. All right, I'll do some more on the other side. Front. The back, always got to hit it from the back. And in the crack. Okay, you don't have to make those sounds while I'm doing it. All right, but yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, just remember, we've really got to be flossing too, twice a day. When you wake up, when you go to bed, get deep in there, all right? But yeah, honestly, looking pretty good. Um, you know, just keep up that flossing, keep up that brushing. As promised, no cavities means we get to watch an episode of Mono Goddary. So I'll go ahead and help you up. Remember, keep brushing, keep flossing. Let me, there we go. All right, here you go. And there you are. All right, feeling good. Let me just get this out of the way. Back to where it's supposed to be. Whew. Ooh, it feels nice to get that mask off. You have freaking no idea how long I've had that on. All right, um, looks like we get to watch an episode of Mono Goddary. Okay, let me just boom. Episode a seven, or six. This is six we, we're gonna watch, no, wait, no. We're gonna watch 6.5 and then we're gonna watch seven, right? Because their 6.5 is a thing um, that they did that I don't know what it is, but then we're gonna watch episode seven. So I'm gonna watch both in a row. Hopefully, I don't know how long 6.5 actually is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty short though, like a little, uh, like a little teaser or something, right? Um, but real quick, episode six, we did finish the arc of Nadeko Draw. So we can kind of do like a little bit of a recap of that, I guess. Um, so a couple of fun comments, so we can just real quick dive through the comments. Um, what I love so much that they did, and then this is giving, an, this comment here is giving like an extra bit of like juice to, is like the like super good show don't tell with like expressions and like micro movements, like really small movements that mean a lot because of the context, right? And so like specifically, I really latched onto like last episode, how Meek Nadeko had moved her hair and then the, or like, Current Nadeko moved Meet Nadeko's hair and then it blew back in her face and then she moved it again, right? That I really locked into because obviously the bangs is such a big deal for her. Um, but it's cool that like uh, right here, when Nadeko was talking to Meek Nadeko, she looked it down and said, sorry, it is my fault as if trying to deflect response accountability again. That's why current Nadeko seemingly annoyed reached to take her hand, right? And so it's like, 
Ne current Nadeko knows how meek Nadeko functions because she used to be meek Nadeko, right? So she, you know, it's like, oh, you're not looking at me? Like, no, look at me, all right? We're in this together, you know? Like those very small things that just like, they make Nadeko feel like a real person, you know? Because real people do all that kind of like, mm, you know, my new body language type stuff. Um, and it's so much harder to like make come across in like a piece of story, right? Um, so that's one of the best things I think they did. Um, the Shinobu, do you think I still, I just happen to be cute and that's all I've got going for me line is really funny too. I like this comment was really cool because it attaches that to what Sodachi said. Where, because you remember like Sadachi said, don't think this one harsh opinion is everything about your parents. Don't take the face value of their words as absolute, etc. You know, that's kind of what happened with Shinobu. Where it's like, Shinobu says this thing, the deco latches onto it, suffers with it, whatever. Um, and then freaking Shinobu doesn't care. Shinobu already forgot, bro. Shinobu's moved on, you know? And so people like, and that's so, that's just so relatable, bro. There are so many times that like somebody literally, dude, it's funny. Like recently somebody said something to me um, I'll, I'll just say, they, they called me excitable. They said I was the most excitable person in the group. And I don't know why, but that felt so strange to me. I was like, for like, w like a week or two after, this was a few weeks ago, but like for a while after, even now, I, I kept thinking like, am I excitable? What is that even, is that a good thing? You know, brother already forgot. You know what I mean? Brother is already, it, it was just a one-off random thing he said and it just keeps going, right? But I've kind of latched onto it a little bit. So it takes a while to like, unlatch yourself and really like put into perspective like bro how much do you really pay attention to the people around you versus thinking about yourself all the time most people are like that right um most people's like most important thing is themselves and trying to figure that things out that way they don't even pay attention to what other people do a lot of the time sometimes of course but i don't know i think people overestimate how much they are paid attention to a lot of the time in a way um but yeah so i thought that that's a really fun like literal example of um that line from Sodachi. Um, the two, the two familiar thing was that she summoned Wrath and had, and had Wrath Nadeko draw her own familiar. So she like daisy chained it. It was like a daisy chain of Nadekos. Mm, a daisy chain of Nadekos. A Nadeko chain, bro. Holy. Uh, so yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, the drawn alien being like literal, literal like pop culture stuff is is really funny. I'm glad that was actually the thing because I and and like the I remember at the time when the in Bakke Monogatari when they did the cheer thing that was one of my favorite like visual jokes they've ever done because I got it instantly. You know, so many of their jokes I only get if somebody that knows Japanese can come in and like explain it to me. And at that point it's like, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna increase the gain on my camera a little bit. But it's it's so fun like. Whenever they do something, it's like, oh, I get that one. I don't know. I feel very seen. It's just freaking lit. But yeah. Okay. Um, there you go. That should look a little better. Mm, I'll let it slide. Okay. Um, bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. Uh, avoiding saying Adaragi's name the entire time was a really smart idea as well. Um, I really liked that. This, this I didn't think about, but it's lit. Um, the trees you said look cinema. Trees are Araragi symbol. Charo, bro. That's so, like, that was intentional. Yeah, that's so good, bro. Uh, it's gotta be, yeah? I'm just gonna say it is because it's so, it's so peak that it has to be. Or it's just a happy coincidence. But no, 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 I'll say it. It was, it's gotta be on purpose. Because they put some real, like, animation into those trees, bro. Those trees look so good. I didn't even think about them being like the Ar an Araragi reference, you know? Um... Some fun thing, like, fun, like, I don't know, like, etymology or, like, uh, not etymology, but, like, the definition of the word monogatari, um, I didn't know, actually, that it kind of, it's, like, the, we, you would translate it as, like, more like tales and folk tales and stories aren't just tradition in a written text, it is spoken myths told by one to another. That's so fun to think about, like, in greater context to how they've used the word monogatari, right? Because, like, the stories are all, they all have a narrator, and pretty much all the time the narrator is a character in the story and that's been like a really big part i think to like understanding like the meta structure of the show which is a really cool thing that's really hard to like pin down um in a lot of ways but it's so fun to to try to think about like how like i mean you could you could give a lot of examples right like how people see the same event differently i mean the easiest one would be like subasa tiger with hanakawa seeing like Araragi and Araragi looks like freaking cool you know and the flowing like cape type thing he had going on Right, just those like biases or like twists on how the their own perspective has like influenced how they tell the story. That makes it's so cool that the word monogatari 
has part of that built in with it being like spoken myths. So that's really cool. Um, and then them also being related to the past makes it like, so making new stuff is kind of cool. It's kind of a cool thing. I think there's just a repeat of the one up there. Never stop cooking, but love you for the process, not the quality of the food. Exactly, exactly. It's all about loving. Because if you love the process of cooking, even if you make a, a really gross food, you still had a good time, right? Wouldn't it be cool if you could appreciate the process of everything, the journey, right? And then you can also reap the rewards of a successful journey. But like, I don't know. I think that's such a good mentality. I think that's such a good mentality. Um, dun, 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 bam, bam. This is just a lot of this is just true. I like that comment a lot. I don't know if, how much more I'm trying to say here. I kind of, bro, I'm, I'm curious what this 6.5 is about. You know what I mean? Um, oh, this, I did want to, yeah. I thought this was a good thing to think about too. Um, bro, you are behind by two weeks. Please kindly catch up, sir. Two weeks ago. Uh oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was busy doing a bit. Okay, can I do my bits in peace? <laughs> my bit, bro. But yeah. Um, the idea of like right here, Nadeko having a job is cool, but I don't trust Gon at all. The whole thing was like Gon telling Nadeko, "You work for me, or I have to exterminate you." But she doesn't look that evil now. I don't blame Onanoki for this because she seemed to be controlled by Gon before. Yeah, it's kind of true. Gon do be kind of sus, and so for her to like like now Nadeko has the the like power to create like the matter creation i think is what they called it you know like that shinobu also has like now nadeko has that in like full force um like, or like fully can utilize that power you know and now works for gone it's like i don't know how much we should be trusting gone with that um so yeah i think that is a good point but eh, that'll just be future juice okay they're just they're just gonna make a future story out of that we don't we don't gotta worry about that but yeah um, and this is so real too. I'm just gonna give that a heart because that's super real. Wait, why does why is Reko just saying Rah! at the bottom? Just got a real quick reply to this. Okay, but yeah, I do want to get 6.5 up so we can figure out what's going on there. Episode six really cooked though. I'm really that arc. It was like it was really really good the entire time, right? Like don't get me wrong. Um, but like there was a small part of me. Ooh, this is maybe a little crazy to say. There's a small part of me that was like worried like. The animation's really good, but I'm not here for the really fire animation. I'm here for Monogatari. Like, come on, give me some more juice, right? Everyone, I kind of actually, Sodachi kind of changed my mind on that immediately. The Sodachi episode was so good. I was like, okay, yeah, they know what they're doing. This is the Monogatari I know and love. So I'm really glad that they um, came through with the finale there. Um, where the frick is my episode, man? Uh, Pink Drive, downloaded video storage, Monogatari, off season. Okay, it's loading, guys. How's your day going? Like, share, some, subscribe, comment, give me love. All right, give me love and affection. I need it, I need it, I need it. All right, 6.5. Let me just pull this up. There we go. 12 minutes. Oh, boy. Okay, I did not realize. I thought this would be like four minutes. Okay, looks like we got an entire thing here. Um, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and watch this little 6.5 thing. I'm not sure exactly what this is. And then we will watch one episode of the new arc. That will be episode 7. Um, and that is our plan for today. So let's get this going in 6.5 in a three, a two, a one. Bang. So loud. Oh, they're translating the turning stuff. That's cool. Is this even monogatari? This doesn't look like monogatari at all. This looks like the promo for like some really like. Uh... Okay, no. no, there it is. Okay, shut up. We're talking about Shinobu. Kind of remember some of that. Like before she became a vampire.戦を問わず誰もが彼女に魅了されました。その美しさだけで皇帝陛下から称号を贈られた彼女は全国民から。
キー様の美しさを曲にしましたどうぞお納めください音楽家はそう言ってバイオリンを引き上げましたキー様の美しさを詩にしましたどうぞお納めください詩人はそう言って高らかに読み上げました I turned it into some yummy cooking. Into a chef. I, I, I turned it into a beautiful、um, a ratatouille. A hundred's a bit much. Alright, that's a bit. Come on, brother. Bit of a simp. Just gonna say. Alright, nobody looks at me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he has to say. Suffering from success. いいことをしても悪いことをしても評価はいつも同じでした何をしても美しい寝ても覚めても美しい美しい姫とはよく言ったものですこんな美しさまるで魔性ではありません It's funny cause like don't vampires like have an ability to enthrall or like charm people isn't like already part of the like tool, tool set in a way 私の見てくれの奴隷じゃないのよ I'm just assuming this is Shinobu. This is Shinobu, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Oh no, it's a hag. Hmm. Where do you find you? Yeah, an old witch. If you drink this potion, then the beauty of your soul will become the beauty everyone sees. When they will be forced to look upon your soul. Oh, now drink this potion. Oh, glug, 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 glug. Your beautiful innards. <laughs>、uh, did she literally just turn her skin off? That's crazy. What was inside? Oh, okay, the good ending. I didn't expect that. I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be、uh, better in the booty. I thought it'd be better in the He just kills himself? Wait, yeah, yeah. Isn't that like the entire thing of what was kind of going on with, with Shinobu? Where it's like, like, wasn't Otter arguing, like, I must kill myself now? You know? So, yeah, I, I would say this is probably that. Oh. The lives of his band, bro? Is that a murder suicide? Oh. Okay. His hands. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe it's like a little. His throat, his voice. Okay. I was close. I was closer to that. I was close. The statue guy. Eyes? Because you can't do hands twice. Hey, eyes, eyes, come on. Eyes, eyes, come on. Pre watched. Oh, 
なんてつまらないものを五章大事に飾っていたのだろうと思いました心ならずもこんなものでは全く釣り合わないと思いながらも自分の命親兄弟の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるのでしょう孫の命を捧げるの
Um, okay, the, the bat's just chilling. The bat's ain't doing anything. Hmm. It reminded me too of um that one episode. It was very similar to that other episode that of like the Shinobu backstory exposition, where it was like about um like her first servant, you know, and it because it, it had that same like heavy like mythological stylization. They kind of did a repeat of that type B with this one. So is it I, okay? So next arc has to be about Shinobu then, because this is six point five. So I assume this is a precursor to whatever's co to come next. Um, well, I say about Shinobu. What, are we gonna flash back to 600 years ago? That's kind of weird. I feel like we've never done, like, that in a full arc. So it's, that'd be weird. It would have to be, like, recent. That, 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 space. Yeah. Hmm, I'm curious what they're trying to do here. It's, it's, it's so strange. Oops, I don't need, heart under blade. No, don't open that up. It's so strange because, like, um, most of the entire, I guess this is a classic. This is a classic in like Monogatari recontextualization, right? Um, which is like my favorite word for Monogatari. But it's like, oh, we've known Shinobu for freaking forever, bro. We've like hung out with Shinobu, vampire stuff. We've got a pretty good feel for how that all works. We've seen like a lot of other characters interact with that. And so of course we have to go back even further and be like, oh, well, but wait, there's more, right? There's an entire other element um, to be included into this, right? Uh, and like, what I was kind of, what was I saying? Um, the whole, like, end of, I feel like Kizu, you could probably, like, uh, probably after this arc finishes, you could probably get a lot of extra juice out of Kizu. Um, my reason being, like, I feel like the ending monologue, which again is, like, my favorite part of Kizu, um, was something, like, like the whole, like, uh, well, they, they talked about, like, the two wounded things joined together or whatever, but the whole of, like, will... If you die, I die too. That that idea, wherever that comes from, um, that's like kind of the perfect counter to this whole predicament, right? Because they're all dying because she's so beautiful that how could they even like, how could they be in her presence, right? And it's, there's almost for a lot of them, I feel like a, a moment of like, I was so wrong, I have to pay penance, you know? I was so wrong when I was trying to sculpt your outer beauty, I, and I was so blind to your inner beauty, I have to pay for my foolishness. A group, you know, there go my eyeballs. Something like that, right? Um, but that's not even true for all of them because the soldiers that are coming, they're just there to, they're just there to kill her or like get rid of her or whatever, right? Um, but, but alas, you know, that is, uh, even just seeing her is enough to make them fall to her, right? So it's even, like, as much as it's, like, their mistakes of not realizing her inner beauty, that's only for the people that are already there. The people that show up, it's like, oh, you're so beautiful, how could I even be in your presence? Or something like that. Like, what could I offer you? You're so beautiful, I need to give you something. What is the most valuable thing I have to give? And for most people, that's their life. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, why couldn't she die? I want to die myself. Okay, okay. But she could not die. Right. <laughs> Please tell me there's not an extra line. Oh, the strength of the princess's will did not allow for that? Oh, she has too much willpower to die? So she wants to die, but she's too determined to be alive? Dang. So her- okay, so her, she had too much- she had too much of a dog in her. Okay, okay. That happens to the best of us, right? Um... Too much dog in her to, 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 to ice herself and or go insane. Um, then you shall embark on a journey by yourself. Distance yourself from others. Yeah, I mean, I even got a flashback to like the Antarctica thing for a moment there. Um, though, yeah, that, that, that comes like way later in the, in the freaking chronological, right? So I'm kind of, yeah, it just, hmm. What exactly are we trying to do with this? What are we trying to preempt? It's like a hedgehog's dilemma, kind of, right? I mean, that's kind of a theme that they're playing with of like, do not get too close to anyone, right? The danger of getting close to other people. It's so interesting because it's like, I'm so beautiful. I'm so pogged that everybody like tries to climb my mountain and falls to their death, right? It's like that. I mean, that's such a, such a peculiar story. Um, and so it's like, yeah, you can, it's like, the, it's the epitome of suffering from success. It's just the epitome of that, you know? What are we trying to do here? No, oh, man, dude, the, the imagery of just a mountain of corpses that goes higher than the castle, uh, like it's like a castle of corpses now. That is just so good. 
like like this is such a this is such a cool story like to like imagine like like what am i trying to say i just i can't help but picture like a game or like a movie and just walking into that for the first time of all the corpses like it's such brilliant imagery you know where it's like all the beauty and illustriousness of the castle has been superseded by the sacrifices everyone's desperate to do which is a bunch of corpses that's just so cool that's just so cool you know um so i do quite like that frick man i should i just jump into the next episode um i'm kind of curious if they're gonna repeat undead or not right is it or is, wait this is all called undead yeah undead or not um i mean especially it's called undead vampire yeah right you know figure that out yourself there you know uh, and then this is also a full... I didn't really even pay attention to the lyrics. This is the full cut of the lyrics, yeah? Um, I mean, something like Drain Me Dry is immediately a vampire thing. But, I don't know. Maybe let's... Let me watch next episode to see if they end up... Um, if they end up actually, like, using this again. Because if they, they use it here, but if they're using it again in the next arc, like, when the arc, like, fully starts, then I... Then they're, like, actively trying to connect those things, and we can try to read undead into whatever story they're trying to tell um so yeah it'd be interesting if we tried to do that because we already we already kind of did that like tsukihi a little bit but then especially nadeko a lot of work so to also throw shinobu in that that'd be kind of a crazy um triple cut there triple cut but yeah okay next one it's weird the, these these episodes from for me don't even feel like super monogatari um which is fine but like like especially whenever that that first like kind of um mythological episode was it, it was kind of like it just kind of is like a big exposition dump um in like a style that's very different from how monogatari usually exposition dumps right because they usually do it through like dialogue with a bunch of crazy imagery going on that has like a bunch of like character like um gimmicks like flowed into the dialogue right so it makes it very digestible in a way uh, so this, like, different, like, mythos telling, which reads like a fairy tale, is it, kind of whiplash for me a little bit. But, yeah. Um, let's just watch episode 7, and then we can try to bring 6.5 into 7 a bit to see, like... Because I don't even know what they're trying to do, you know? Are we... There's no way we're going back in time 600 years ago, yeah? That's just crazy, right? I'm used to flashbacks to, like, the summer, you know? Or, like, to Hell Week or Spring, whatever they call those things, right? Not a million years ago, so that would be very unexpected for me. Um, but I mean, I'm down. What, what, what you trying to do? What you trying to do, Monogatari? Seven. Let's just check it out in a three, a two, a one. Bye. Honed story. Hoed story. Asiroda bon appetit. Okay, so it's definitely Shinobu action. Okay, they're yeah. Okay, they're feeling it. They're doing the crazy stuff. Wait, this is already kind of fire. What is going on, bro? Oh, she's using her her hard under blade voice, yeah. See, this is I'm more used to this type of exposition. Her? What do you mean? Her? I, ooh, that's hers. Interesting way to put it. Wait, 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 I'm confused now. No, no, who are you? Wait. Oh, I forgot! Wait, remember in the PV? Or whatever, way back? I forgot that. Okay, so this is a different character. Who is this? Right? What is going on? Alright, lock in. Ooh, fell from your puppet strings. The name of a meal? Blood. Yo! Okay, so we are flashbacking, like, hard. Oh, I love that dagger. Bro, she's actually wearing that? Okay, who are, what is going on? Okay. Munch? A quick, a quick snack. Flashback to, um, 
Hizu when you did that, and then Adaraki saw it. But then it's somebody else, right? Because that's Shinobu. That, that's, that's Shinobu. Who are you? Right? Yeah, the bone. Wait, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. This is so weird. We actually cut to right after that last episode thing. Does she have two different light colors or am I tripping? あなたがそうやって何度も繰り返し死んでいらっしゃる原因は私だけにあるように言われるのは信頼です。あなたが私を殺そうとさえしなければ、あなたが死ぬことは一度でも。Self defense. Kind of. Open your eyes. I need to see your eye colors. Yeah, they are different colors. I'm gonna take a quick bite, a quick bite. Bon appetit! Yo, this animation is crazy, bro. And then she kills herself? Yo. That, dude, this castle shot goes so hard. They know it goes hard because they keep repeating it. That's what I was talking about last episode. Like, get me in there, bro. This, like, fairy tale esque thing, it don't hit nearly as hard as, like, this. Th Look at this. This is hard. All right, sorry. Let me lock in. Let me lock in. But this is way hard. Like, this shot go crazy. This fit go crazy, too. The dagger, bro. The dagger does it for me. The dagger, right? Her back. Sorry, I really like backs. Oh, that was a self-report. His name has dog strings in it? His name has dog strings in it. Okay, I understand. For some reason, I thought I thought Shinobu was like the origin, original vampire of her bloodline, of like the vampire bloodline, but I guess not, right? But I don't know. I don't really know what's going on, man. Yo, this imagery is so cool, bro. Empty streets. Was it um Princess's fault that they all died already? Which kind of sucks, if so, because it's like... It's like a waste, right? All those people just died. They didn't get drained, you know? Yeah, okay, it is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yo, that stained glass got hard. Whoa, these shots are so weird. They... What a, what a weird... style. I like it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I, why am I dressed up as a dentist? This episode is not fitting for the dentist bit, guys! Okay, sorry. I, I'm paying attention, I promise. <laughs> it's like the least, like, I'm so out of place. Any other episode, bro. Any other episode, I would have been more in place. Okay. 
Yeah, these are shots from 6.5 here. <laughs> it's like, like, what is going on? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. I'm calling him Dogpack. What was his name? Yeah, she wanna bite out of that princess. それは親しみになった方がよろしいかとどうか考え直してくださいしかし美しい姫はさっきほどご報告いたしました通り生中怪物よりもよっぽど凶悪な<笑> Bro, I need to hear this woman's name. So bad. She kind of got me acting up. I love that dagger, bro. That's such a cool design choice. Oh, her own pride is stopping her from eating the corpses? Cause she wanna bite out of the princess? That's crazy. But that ain't me. Yep. That ain't me, she says. I should make my own translation of this show. My translation will go hard. And as a gourmet. <笑>譲れない一戦だ。自分で殺した食材以外はできる限り食いたくねえ。今は俺様のお腹が美しい姫気分だから。美しい姫を食べる。好きに食べる。殺して食べる。そう決めた。決めたこと。決めた通りにや
せっかく生き返った命を無駄にしないでください。カカつまりあれかカカ is crazy。美しさを傷つけることをためらうどころか、そんな暴挙に及ぼうとした自分が許せず、俺様は自殺を試みたということか。そういうことです。おい、俺様は化け物だぞ。そのようですね。吸血鬼。そうですか。まさか実在したとは。人間を殺して食うモンスターだ。Oh, she looks like a bat. I get it. Vampire. としてのことだったのですね。答えてあげられなくて申し訳ありませんでした。何か。Dude, it's so weird. It's such a different environment than I'm used to with this show. This is so weird. It's so like, bro, they've never done something like this before. I feel like it feels so strange. I, I'm so here for it though. Oh, and they're doing like a, a, like a gavel sound, like a instead of like a camera shutter whenever they blink. So they're doing the same things, but they're like making it like they're going back in time with it, bro. They're not, you know, so they're doing the same motifs, but they're, they're changing up to be like time period relevant. That's so cool. Acerola, there we go. アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ。アセロラ
貴様の意識や貴様の美意識を否定するつもりは全くないが考えもなく旅を続けるのは無謀だと忠告せざるを得んそれは確かに無謀だと言われても私は他にやり方を知らないのですそうして放浪を続けることでしか答えにたどり着けない Dude, this is such a cool character concept. そうでもないぞいいかセロラヒン貴様は不本意ながらもこの王国を滅ぼしただが It's like, yeah, it's like, where do we put the blame? Reminds me of the like, only you can save yourself thing. It's like a weird twist of that, kind of. Yeah. Except for you. Yeah, but you, but you can't actually kill her in a way that matters, you know? Because she can just come back. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yo, this is hype! Okay. This is so weird. This is so weird. I thought there was no way they would do something like this, but this got me more hyped than like anything, bro. She's so hot, too. Sorry. I have to say it. Not even the princess. Frick the prin fr 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 princess as a roller, bro. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Good, good reply. Dude, suicide master is such a crazy term. I know I've said that twice now, but like, there are terms of charm. Ooh, them long slender fingers, bro. She got such a unique hand. She's about to kill herself again, bro. Ooh, good sound effect. Ooh, is that like... That's cool. It's a cool structure, bro. Holy crap, what a cool environment. I love this shot of the castle. This guy's gonna kill himself too, bro. In trying to take care of her. Okay. Well, let's see though. <laughs> you remembered her name? Bro, this guy's shy of poof, bro. <laughs> Actually, though. Dog strings, that's right. You think I'm scared? Tell him. This ingredient is quite a hassle to cook up. That is such a funny line. <laughs><笑><笑> Who is it becoming like a new moon? A new start, bro. A new arc in these characters' lives, bro. Or unlives. <laughs> Whoa. 
End of the episode? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're doing. I can hear the swell of the music. I know exactly what you're trying to do. Okay, they are doing that dead again. Okay, wow. Dude, it's like, you know, it gives me the feeling like, I feel like I just started a new anime. Like completely new, like new environment, new characters, new motivations, new themes, new everything, bro. But it's still got that like monogatari feel to it. So it's like familiar at the same time as feeling completely new. And that is so cool, bro. Cause like the best part of, I feel like a new setting is how big it feels, right? Like, like whenever you start like a new show or something, a lot of the times it's like, oh, look at, you know, unique environments, unique characters, unique like mechanics, unique all these things, right? And so it's so fun to like play around with that in your head to be like, oh, what's over there? What's over there? Cause it's brand new. So it feels so big, right? We don't know where the guidelines are. Like compare that to like normal, like monogatari, like normally where it's like, oh, we're in the town. We know the locations. We know the shrines, you know, the shrine. We know the playground. We know like these characters. You can introduce new ones, but like we're adding new pieces into a set that we're already pretty locked into. Here feels completely different because it's like a completely new everything. So it's like, like even like the like aesthetics are completely new, bro. Like the crazy shots of like what? the red and the yellow to switch. Is that supposed to represent each of them, bro? Freaking Asarola and um, Suicide Master. One of each. Dun, 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 dun. Peace, peace. Dude, what is happening? It's so, this is like, it, it feels like something completely new. You know what I mean? But they still, but it still feels like monogatari. It's the weirdest feeling. It's like, like the 6.5, I thought they were just giving us context for something that would happen in current time. Which by the way, I, I, I almost started laughing twice. One of the times I did, because it's like, why is it that I do the stupid dentist bit and we jump 600 years ago? They don't have dentists. They don't have any dentists. I look so out of place, bro. I literally like, there's a moment where it's like, there's corpses and we're like living in this gothic fairy tale. And I just look over at myself and my other monitor and I'm like, what am I doing, bro? I'm in the wrong time period. Oh, <laughs> like why couldn't this have been freaking like uh, the freaking toothbrush episode, man? <sighs> anyways, anyways, like I'm in the wrong anime, bro. This is the same anime as that. It's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy, bro. Th so that just like, I don't know, bro. That got me messed up. That got me messed up. It's so funny. But like, dude, just like, oh my goodness. Just look at these shots. This shit goes so hard. It's like, I couldn't even explain how hard this goes. This looks like a Gothic cathedral, bro. Them really like sharp points, all the lit candles. Like that's very, like, like sim it's, it's asymmetrical too, isn't it? Kinda, cause it's it's two and then one, but then here it's one and then two. So it's like, the, it's just so interesting, bro. My eyes are just like, look at them crazy reflections here of this giant staircase. It, it, it reminds me of Kizu, bro. Cause Kizu had like shots like this, right? With like the really big staircase. I mean, that's where like episode and Araragi fought, you know? Oh my God. <gasps> oh my goodness, bro. She like, <laughs> the princess is the one that's so beautiful. Like, please, man. <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's weird because it feels like both. Like, like Shinobu feels more like the the vampire suicide master than by, like Princess Asarola. But Shinobu is Princess Asarola, you know, because it's she named this, the suicide master named princess into Kisha, uh, Iron Blooded, Cold Blooded, blah blah blah. Right? I don't remember the full title off the top. Okay, I guess I'm not a true fan, but. Like, it's so weird because she even did the kaka. -ka. She did the kaka, -ka, but that's a Shinobu classic. So it's like, there's two explanations. I feel like the, the most logical, the one that's probably the case, is that like, um, she just, uh, Shinobu adopted all these like ticks, all these like visual, or like these, um, these like gimmicks or whatever, the little habits. She just adopted all of them. Um, and like in becoming a vampire herself, right? Or like, I mean, there's no way they like become one being. That, that would not make any sense, right? Um, there's no way both, there is, there's no way Shinobu is a two soul being, right? I feel like that would be cr too crazy. Um, I'm just gonna throw it out there as a possibility because why not? But uh, yeah, I feel like she just adopted the gimmick, the, the, those ticks and such from um, Suicide Master. Which by the way, what a title. Like, it just feels like a different show altogether, bro. Like, even, even, because this Araragi with the tree, that was like an entire thing in Kizu, bro. It's like, I, I was getting remember, remembering that here, 
you know? Oh my goodness, this was so cool. I feel like I wasn't even talking that much because it felt like I was like I was in like a different thing altogether, bro. It doesn't even feel like the same show. The death cheating, death meeting, death bringing vampire, death topia virtu virtuoso suicide master. You want me to call you like death topia, like Zootopia? <laughs> Judy Hopps, shout out. I guess there's a similarity there, right? Both her and Judy Hopps can get it. Sorry, I don't need to. Let's not lust over Judy Hopps right now. We got better things to be doing. I don't, I don't even know where to start, bro. I don't even know where to start. It's crazy, bro. I mean, it makes me even think like, like Araragi meeting Shinobu. It felt like Shinobu is meeting Shinobu. Like, like Araragi to Shinobu feels like Princess Asarola to Suicide Master. You know what I mean? It's like, it feels like an almost similar thing in a couple ways. Like a dynamic. I mean, the dynamic is very different between the two groups, but my goodness. Like, it's like that same like human coming into contact with this vampire. I mean, it's that same story, but now in the backstory of Shinobu, Kiss Shot, Iron-Blooded, etc., is that same story again, but inverted. That's so weird, bro. I'm so into it. We didn't even get an OP. Oh, and this intro, this intro got me feeling good, bro. You're gonna start with a spotlight on a doll? Bro, that is so fairy tale. That is so like Pinocchio, bro. That make me think of Pinocchio, bro. On the little wood chiseling, like the you know, the little wood sounds. So good. And it, so this is her, this is Suicide Master talking. Kishot Acerola Orion, Heart Under Blade. Heart Under Blade. Kishot. I'm trying to think of like, like why she would come up with this name. I mean, Heart Under Blade is like, I want to eat your heart <laughs> type shit. <laughs> Cool, tough, and most splendid. Well, well, let me just get your full dialogue. Well, I'll let you say it. I'll let you say it, bro. Oh, I love that wood sound, bro. And the dagger, this shot goes so hard. So are these your different outfits? Hmm, because we saw this. I think we saw this outfit for a moment when freaking Dog Streets or whatever his name was yapping. And then separate, I love this outfit, bro. I love the dagger and the fabric so much. I mean, even just look at this for a moment, like design wise, bro. We got like the red in her hair, the red of her eye, like her, not her, like her iris, right? The, the white part, but it's red for her. The red of the hilt, the red of the blade, the red of her undercloak. That's the, the, her, the line art is red. You know, it's, it's, that's so cool, bro. It's so much red, like, I love the red of the undercloak. That's what really does it for me here. It's just a great like through line of the design, right? And so it's like the puppet, the puppet analogy go hard. Oh, the red's so brilliant here. But yeah, she stays in this outfit. Oh my goodness, she did the leg cross thing. This is such a classic seductress move where it's like, like, like where you're sitting with your legs crossed and then you uncross your legs and you get a little glimpse in. That's a seductress move. So she kind of got like looking up at the throne and she got her legs crossed. That's crazy. Like that got me messed up, bro. Now, whether that attachment was friendship, affection, or simply lust. Very vampire classic, right? Vampires are very like the eating, like vampires are, at least in my interpretation of them, are like lust, right? They're like, um, what's it called? Like femme fatale or whatever. Um, and so it's very much like you get seduced by the beauty and then you get eaten by it. So it's like, you know, that's what happens when you fuck around with lust. You know, you get chomped, type B. And so I like how they're bringing that in a little bit. That's a very classic. I mean, think back way back to Kizu, you know, where we first see Kiss Shot, she's lying there and her bazookas just keep going like, you know what I mean? That's crazy. I'm unsure of in hindsight. And so there were the four of them. Dang, the shot go hard. It was not a desire to feed. Oh, okay. I love the backlighting. Oh, oh, the mountain of the dolls kind of resembles the mountain of corpses, right? Because that was a a, a, a thing they, they threw in. So the dolls is kind of the same. She was the doll. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't work that well as the name of a meal now, does it? Okay, so it wasn't a desire to feed them. What's a desire of, bro? Like lust, like camaraderie, like, 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 well, she kind of says it herself of like, was it friendship, affection, or lust, right? She doesn't know yet, but it wasn't a desire to feed. Because yeah, I mean, that makes sense because she doesn't end up eating her. 
she ends up enthralling her as another as a new vampire thrall, right? This shot is mon oh, so the moon started as absent. It started as a new moon. Ah, new moon, new beginnings, right? Because a new face comes through. Oh my goodness, the shot goes so hard. It's so funny because I very specifically was longing for this exact thing of holy crap. All this castle stuff got me feeling kind of like, like got me feeling some kind of way. I want to see that done in an environment that is like, I want to see that done in a cooler way. And then they gave it to me, bro. They gave me exactly what I longed for. I need to, man, now I need to go back and re-listen to the original, like the whole princess thing that was originally brought up. I need to hear all that again because I don't remember the lore exactly. Like, I don't know if home, I don't remember her suicide master being mentioned ever. But now I'm unsure, bro. I gotta ask people about that in the Discord. Shout out the Discord. Join in the description. And this was the fifth time. Oh my goodness. The the dude. I I I'm sorry. I'm allowed to lust over this one. I'm taking this one. All right. I don't lust over any of the characters in Monogatari. I don't. And I don't. I know people think I might. I don't. Okay. This is one of the shows that I feel the least lust. Okay, because I I love the show so much that I don't lust over it, which is probably a weird thing to like, that's just how I work, okay? This here, I lust. Yeah, it's such, dude, it's such a like, the eating the head, oh my goodness. And princess are like, brother, what are you doing? Uh, you really gonna do that? Oh no, it wasn't a new moon. Oh, so no, the, the moon was going, no, 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 because this is a flashback. So, okay, we can use the moon as a way to determine time because this is the, after she died for the fifth time. And so the moon has largely appeared again. Um, so it's gone deeper in the moon cycle where like, then we flash back to when they first meet and the moon is smaller or like less full, right? So we can kind of use that even. That's cool, that's cool. It's so weird, bro. Like, like it, it feels like it goes from normal, like this is normal monogatari animation, right? Like this, this is normal, all right? All things considered. I know it's like we got candles and like it's like gothic and she's like in this like princess attire but it's kind of like farmer is it not it kind of gives me like farmer with the the strap under under the booba you know it's more like farm girl um or like tavern like tavern waitress but then this goes kizu does it not like this is not normal this is not normal <laughs> like what is going on <laughs> get baited el mayo kill yourself now it's funny, and her name's Suicide Master, and she really is like living that out because she keeps killing herself. Or so we are told, right? I mean, we can I can assume that to be true, um, but we don't actually see her like ripping her own head off. But yeah, we can assume that to be true. I think that's very valid. But yeah, now it's the flashback, which is why the moon is is smaller, right? That's so cool. That was that's a clever little um device. Oh my goodness, this goes so hard. It doesn't feel like I'm in Monogatari. I keep saying that, but I... Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, now I'm confused with the moons. No, 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 this was her di dying from starvation. Okay, no, yeah, so no, correct, correct, we're good, we're good. So this was her first death, or this was her death of starvation. The later deaths were her killing herself because of uh, Princess Acerola. Yeah. Um, this freaking guy, dog me or whatever. Get out of here, brother. Oh. Dog strings, yeah, dog strings. I don't, know. I don't need to hear you, dog strings. Brother, it's just a, the classic male simp. Home a wave. Why is he the only one that remains? That's interesting. I feel like he's gonna get replaced and die. He's honestly, I, I mentioned it offhand, but he is giving me such a throwback to um, Shia Poof. I won't say any more to that, but. <laughs> From uh, Hunter Hunter. Go watch Hunter Hunter. Go to show. But it's, it's very like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling of, of some similarities there, you know, which is really funny. Um,
Like, yeah. So one thing, one thing that I, I kind of thought of that is, so it's like, she wants to save one other person. Um, so she's on her quest to do that, but in doing so, her presence is causing a lot of people to die, right? So it's really, it's obviously interesting that she's choosing to chase saving somebody at the cost of so many other people's lives, right? So the, 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 the motive of, I want to save somebody else, it's like, brother, but you're caught, like, but if you just stayed home, then you would kind of inadvertently save people in a sense. I mean, it begs the question, like, are you saving somebody? It's funny because somebody literally asked me this in my in my Discord the other day. So I, I always think that they watched this and this is where they got it from. Um, but the like, if I want to kill you and I choose to not kill you, have I saved your life? You know, it's kind of like one of those. Like if she would cause people's deaths by going there and she doesn't do that, did she save them, right? And I, I would have to say no. She didn't say, like saving somebody from yourself isn't really a, like... That's, it's not really the, how the word save is used, right? It's like, if I'm going to stab you to death and I don't, I didn't just save your life. I just, I didn't end your life, right? Because your life, your life, like if you cause a problem and you fix it, it's like, yeah, you, you fixed the problem, but that doesn't matter because you caused the problem. So your fixing of the problem, it, it doesn't really hit as fixing the problem, you know? Right? You've just kind of gone back to neutral. So it's like, if I was going to murder you and I decided not to, I, I, I guess I, like, kind of I saved you, but since I saved you from myself, it doesn't really manifest in like, like, it doesn't really come across as me actually saving you because your life wasn't in danger until I made it in danger and then killing away that danger, it doesn't hit the same, right? So like technically maybe you could say that she would be saving them by choosing to not go, but I, but there's a difference there that like absolutely is, is at play, right? Where she wants to save somebody, not, I think not from herself, because if she wanted to save somebody from herself, she wouldn't even go there in the first place, right? Unless maybe she wants to put somebody in danger to then save them from herself, but that wouldn't really make sense to me, right? Because if she walks up and somebody's like, I must kill myself now! And then she stops that somehow, like, you didn't really save them. Like, you did, but you saved them from something that you caused, so it doesn't hit the same. But, so if instead her motive was like, oh, I need to find a soul to save, then it's like, oh, let me save somebody from something that they wouldn't have been saved from if I wasn't there, you know? That my presence there made a positive difference and saved them. That's, I think, what she's looking for, right? That would just make sense to me. Um, Cause otherwise it, it would kind of be like half baked to me. That 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 form of salvation that you caused the problem, that's, that's, that's half baked. So I'm intrigued to see where that goes. Um, what, what did they say? They, they kind of, they kind of, um, uh, put it very frankly themselves at some point of like, um, like, oh, it's the perfect right here, right here. Is there any other relationship where the interests of each side match so perfectly? So as you can see, I'm a monster, but that's not all. I've smidgen of magecraft. So I can at least assist you in figuring out a way to dispel the curse. And in return for assistance to me, you want to keep me in this realm so you can seek out a chance to eat me. So yeah, she, Suicide Master is going to help Acerola get rid of the curse. Acerola um, is helping Suicide Master because Suicide Master wants to take a bite out of her. So it's like, oh, we both kind of get what we want, you know? Um, I could imagine that the way to dispel the curse is to, I don't know, like, well, they, the problem is that her in her inside is so beautiful. That's the problem, yeah? Um, so, I mean, how can you stop that? You either make her skin untransparent, you undo the curse, it like literally, you know? So it's like, oh, she's just beautiful normally now. That's not gonna happen though, I don't think. Um, surely, I mean, what, couldn't you just like ruin her soul? You know, if you like, if you darken her soul that is so beautiful and, and, and make it more ugly in a way, then it wouldn't be as blinding. It wouldn't, it wouldn't get people killed, right? Um, so, and I, I, I kind of am like intuitively ascribing the, the beauty of her soul with some sort of like good, right? Um, kind of in the way of like, I'm getting a bit crazy here, but like in the way that like, oh, like an angel, you see an angel and your eyes are burned and you have to look away or like. Classic Plato, right? Plato's cave. You leave the cave, the sun, which resembles like good and truth and or which resembles truth. Oh, it's so blinding. It burns your eyes and you have to shield yourself, right? That kind of idea where it's like a good that's so blinding that it hurts you. I'm kind of like intuitively adding that into the beauty idea, um, which is why when I say like, okay, how do we get rid of that? We throw in some evil. We throw in some sin. We throw in some vampire, right? Um... 
Yeah, and like, I don't know if we need to play with the good and bad type beat, but the whole like human monster, right? Human monster, human vampire, the good, the bad. It kind of it kind of feels like Im implicit a little bit. So, um, how would we stop undo the curse? I don't think we would undo the curse, but like literally, I think we would just have to subvert the problem, which is a beautiful soul that's so beautiful people wish to die in its presence. Make the soul not as beautiful, turn her into a vampire kin, right? Um, that that seems to be the the most Another likely question. what's going to happen. Um, yeah. <laughs> Even touching... Bro, her fingers, bro. Suicide Master's fingers are so long. You know what I... Dude, look how long her fingers are, bro. Oh, it's so interesting that she's the one that's narrating this the most. Suicide Master? Like, we're getting most of her inner dialogue. That's really cool, bro. That's so unexpected. But, but like, why? Why are we doing all of this? Oh, like, I'm, I'm so intrigued with this as a, like, in, like, a surface level way. Like, I mean, I'm so intrigued in this in setting and, like, just what's gonna happen, you know? Like, what's gonna happen to Dogstream, you know? What's gonna happen to Suicide Master, right? Like, that's where I'm, like, interested a lot. Um, but that's, like, usually not the big draw of Monogatari for me. So it's weird. It's like, how are you gonna cook with this, you know? Mm -hmm. what, what, what kind of, like, character, like, deep internal character moment is gonna come out of this? That's where I'm so, like, intrigued. Okay, stay away from. So I could I could see a situation with Dogstring where he's like, I was told to stay away, but I'm so worried about my about the princess or about um, Suicide Master, my 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 queen, basically, right? I'm so worried about her, I couldn't help but take matters into my own hands. And then he sees Princess and then kills himself, right? I could see him like in trying to pursue um, Suicide Master or like do right by his idea of what Suicide Master should be he destroys himself, right? Um, yeah, where it's like his own hubris, where he's like, no, she's my, she's beautiful, and she's beautiful in this kind of way, and no, let me, let me, let me throw myself in here and, and fix things according to my image of her, my idolization of her, and then in doing so, he destroys himself, right? My goodness, she's such a power woman. Sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. I could feel my IQ dropping just looking at that image. And what'd she say? Like, I need to cook. This ingredient is quite a hassle to cook up. <laughs> That's like me, bro. That's like something I would say. <laughs> like, we were talking to the deco yesterday. How are we here? <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? It's so crazy. Okay, and they are using Undead again. Maybe I'll look at that at the start of the next episode. I don't even know what to do with this, bro. I'm, like, out of my element. Okay, I mean, like, there's so many other things I could talk about of, like, like, I love the doll thing. I think that was done super well. What else could I even talk about, bro? I love this, like, super sharp imagery, bro. Very gothic. Super cool. Um, th These paintings were so weird. They almost felt like... Like, almost like AI in a weird way, but like, it, I just think it's super stylized, you know? <laughs> Especially like when they did this, it's like, okay, no, this is obviously stylized, like super stylized, but like the stylization was so cool, weird. Dang. This also, bro, Curse of Strahd, if you know that D&D &D campaign, I never really understood why people lusted after, after Strahd, because a lot of people l lust after Strahd. I think I get it now. I can understand a hot vampire now, for sure. She has sharp feet, too. That's a normal thing to say. Um, or like when she jumped on him. I need to watch that back. Yeah, and like even here, like he was projecting what he, like his preferences onto her, and she said back off. So I could see him doing that again, and that leading to his destruction, you know? Where he's like projecting onto her in some kind of way of what he imagines she should be, or like something.
So she, she yeah, and, and now, okay, so now she's gonna have to, well, she's not gonna kill Acerola, because she can't. I think she's gonna thrall her. And so... So what becomes of her? There's no... Mm. But yeah, my, my, my point with that is that, like, I wonder if she's gonna have to, like, um, go back on her policy in interacting with Acerola. <laughs> but yeah, bro, if I was a vampire, I'd want to eat her too, bro. Like, the the beautiful princess from thing, that is such a, like, that fits so well. That is so good. Yeah, right here. Doing what I decide on and doing it in the manner I decided on is who I am. So she's running into, she can't do that. She's deciding to eat the princess and she's deciding to do it now, but she can't do it. So, like, her own self-image is in risk. So I wonder how that'll, like, develop her character, right? Like, will that give her some level of, like, humility where she can't do what she wishes for? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Wait, that's an, that's an entire booby. Wait, that's a nipple. Am I wrong? Wait, am I tripping? How low are her... Wait, 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 maybe I'm tripping. No, I think I'm tripping. Wait, 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 wait. How low are boobs? I don't know how low a boob is on a body. Earth, shoulder. No, 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 no. Okay, no, it's just a fold. It's just a fold. Yeah, her boobs should be like right here. Booby, booby. Okay. Right? I just, I could see Monogatari doing like a, a little sneaky like peek like that. That's a very Monogatari thing to do. They've done that before. Now this is what I meant by sharp feet, bro. She got sharp, sharp toes. Wait, no, I'm just tripping. All right, never mind. I'm not, okay, that's not on me. Okay, I, I don't care, I'm frame by framing. I do not care, I do not care. No, I do care, I do care. No, this, bro, this is crazy, bro. My goodness, chat. Oh my goodness, bro, this open cloak is killing me. But yeah, okay. Um, I don't even know I have, I don't think I have, I'm just awestruck with this. Um, like this shot goes incredibly hard in so many ways. It doesn't, it's just, it's, it reminds me kind of, um, remember when Kaiki first appeared and like everything was red outside of Kompadu's house? It reminds me of that a little bit, bro. But it's like this crazy gothic fairy tale. And I love gothic fairy tale, bro. I literally, bro, I love this type of shit. This, like, 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 like Dude, it goes so hard. Give me everything we know about trees in Monogatari right now, and what can we apply? Because they're doing a bunch of this, like, dead tree imagery, bro. She's just cooking up a little snack, man. Let her cook. But yeah. I'm really, okay. I just gotta end the episode because I'm I'm stun locked. I've been stun locked. I gotta stop wasting y'all's time. Um, we're gonna look at the um the ED. We're gonna the undead. We're gonna have to reread undead next episode in the context of this episode. Um, oh my goodness, look at these environments, bro. These environments are so good. I'm just yeah, and I'm fascinated with this right now, and I'm I feel like I'm so out of my element, which is a very unexpected feeling. Um, yeah, so, hey, that's all we got for this one. On to the next episode eight of Monogata Arui. Um, because yes, this indeed still is Monogata Arui. Should be exciting. On to the next, of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me other Monogata Arui fans there. But until then, till the next episode, that's Garbanite. I will be seeing you then. Peace.